Hello, family. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about envy or, or, or jealousy. Now, I don't think that uh, this was an original statement uh, that was uh, phrased by uh, Shakespeare. It might have been, I don't know, perhaps maybe one of you can just uh, uh, Google that and find out where it actually came from. But, um, you know, um, that, that saying, green with envy, well, in, in the play, uh, I don't know if, if you ever saw the play Othello, one of the characters makes the statement, Oh, beware, my lord, of jealousy. It is the green-eyed monster which doth mock the meat it feeds on. And it's, it's quite, a, quite a bold statement that because um, it's actually, uh, we, we all uh, are prone to this envy or this jealousy um, in, in our everyday life. And it's been with us uh, for centuries. And it's, it's, it's a big problem that on occasions it really is, that it changes our way of thinking. It changes the way that, 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 we, that we do things uh, or we say things. And, and we really have to be careful about that. But let's have a look to see what uh, Scripture teaches us about uh, envy or, or, or jealousy. We're reading Proverbs 14, verse 30. A heart at peace give, gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. And Proverbs 27, verse 4. Anger is cruel and fury overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thanks, God. Uh, this uh, last one from 1 Corinthians 13, uh, this is used many times in, uh, uh, in marriage vows as part of the marriage, uh, marriage uh, ceremony um, about love being base, uh, patient, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, kind, it's never envious, and it doesn't boil over into, into jealousy. And that is a, a statement that that hits to the core because when we when we uh, join together in marriage, we should never ever be uh, jealous of uh, our spouse. Uh, we should never be jealous of family members or um, uh, you know or, uh, of children or or, or, uh, or people um, that we perhaps in, in working with or what have you. We. They, they're doing what they can do as to the best of their ability, and we need to do the same. And um, we shouldn't allow envy or jealousy into, into our lives. This idea of envy or, or jealousy, uh, you know, being a, a green-eyed monster, is, it's one that the uh, human writers of the Bible would have uh, been fond of, uh, you know, to write about. Because envy is destructive. It it wants what it does not have. Um, it's, it's, it's never content. Envy or jealousy is never content to remain as it is. Um, and, and of course, the scriptures show us, but the Bible shows us that the person who carries um, envy or jealousy in his or her heart, um, it, you know, it's, they're, they're ticking time bombs. Uh, envy, let's face it, family, envy won't settle uh, for, for remaining uh, in a person's heart. It, it, will, it will seek to have its, um, its desires fulfilled. It will destroy all who stand in its way. And we have to put it to address now. We have to lay that before the Lord and say, Father, I've got a problem with envy. Uh, that's what you need to look at. Reflect on this and say, do you? Uh, you, that's what we need to ask ourselves. Do I have a problem with envy? Do I have a problem with jealousy um, uh, with someone in the family or someone that I know? How is it affecting my life? Um, uh, is, it, is it changing my way of thinking? And that is, that's the ticking time bomb. Because what will happen is that we're going to say something eventually or do something that we don't uh, want to do or that we don't really mean. But it comes out and, and people are hurt. And all because... They're trying to do the best they can, or they've received something that was that was uh, uh, due to them, and 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 uh, we we've taken it the wrong way. But uh, just it's something to think about and pray about and lay before the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we lay our hearts and desires before you. 
show us where envy and jealousy has caused us to pursue more and more rather than pursuing you may our hearts align with your will and purpose for our lives and instead of envy father will you create in us a loving heart give us hearts of gratitude and may we be content with what we have father god we ask that others may see the fruit of the spirit in our lives we pray this in jesus name amen amen and god bless you all today